जैन फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई केम अक्रॉस विथ माय वन ऑफ फ्रेंड एंड ही इज नाउ स्टडिंग इन बी ए फर्स्ट इयर एंड ही इज हैविंग वन चैप्टर दैट द चैप्टर इज ऑन नक्सलिज्म एंड टुडे वी वेर टॉकिंग अबाउट नक्सलिज्म हाउ इट केम टू इंडिया वेर इट ओरिजिनेटेड हाउ द नेम नक्सलिज्म ओरिजिनेटेड एंड वॉट इज दैट द आइडियोलॉजी ऑफ नक्सलिज्म हाउ इट स्प्रेड इन ऑल ओवर इंडिया लाइक मध्य प्रदेश छत्तीसगढ़ महाराष्ट्र तमिलनाडु आंध्र प्रदेश वेस्ट बेंगाल मणिपुर नाउ इट्स स्प्रेडिंग होल इंडिया बट थैंक्स टू आवर गवर्नमेंट्स दैट दे आर ट्राइंग टू इरेटिकेट दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम इंडिया एंड दे एंड द गवर्मेंट क्रिएटेड सो मेनी फोर्सेस टू टैकल विद दिस प्रॉब्लम लाइक सी आर पी एफ सी आई एस एफ सो दिस टू फोर्सेस आर मेनली टैकलिंग विद दिस प्रॉब्लम फॉर सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट एंड द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट लाइक महाराष्ट्र इज हैविंग देयर ओन फोर्स लाइक एस आर पी एफ स्टेट रिजर्व पुलिस फोर्स विच टैकल विद द नक्सलिज्म सो आई विल स्टार्ट विद द ओरिजिन ऑफ नक्सलिज्म सो द नक्सलिज्म इज नॉट अ नेम ऑफ एनी पर्सन और एनी आइडियोलॉजी इट वॉज फर्स्ट स्टार्टेड इन द नक्सल बाय रिवलेज ऑफ वेस्ट बेंगाल सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट इट स्टार्टेड इन वेस्ट बेंगाल सो इन नक्सल बाय रिवलेज सो द नेम वॉज गिवन टू इट एज अ नक्सलिज्म एंड दिस नक्सलिज्म इज टोटली आइडियोलॉजी ऑफ द चाइनीज फिलोसॉफर सो ही गेव द आइडियोलॉजी दैट इफ देर इज अ नो डेमोक्रेटिक डेमोक्रेटिक गवर्नमेंट and the people if people are suffering so the people can have their own government for that the chinese philosopher give this philosophy but this ideology come to india and here when we got our independence in early 1960s uh, there was a huge problem that government uh, gave the farm laws there the uh, zamindars were uh, having so much land in their hand but the poor the poor section of uh, uh, our society the adivasis scs sts other backward classes they were not having land or there were so many peasants they, that they were working in farm but they were not having their own land so this was a pro- problem at that time so the some farmers started this uh, idea, the movement that if we are working in farm then we need uh, we need our own farm so we can work there and we can have our own farm and we can earn money from that farm so it will be very easy to them to uh, uh, their day to day life so uh, that that was the main motive of that time but when this uh, nationalism was spreading this ideology was spreading all across the india at that time the ideology was change uh, very uh, very uh, the ideology went through a very change that when the nationalism was spreading through all over india like that it was uh, the movement was uh, now happening with guns weapons arms so the government was uh, at that time was okay if some peasants are like want to have their own land and if they are tra- trying to have their own rights so it's okay if they are doing it in a very small uh, quantity but as now the red terror that nationalism is growing across the india now it's now happening with uh, arms and this nationalism came in madhya pradesh uh, chatisgarh andhra pradesh uh, now the andhra pradesh is bifurcated in telangana and andhra pradesh these two states maharashtra and they settle in this uh, huge area and they starting to uh, flow over the country and now they are like attacking on government vehicles government schools any organization which is working for government and they are now they lost their uh, faith in democratic government like all governments are giving them uh, all governments are giving promises uh, promising them that we will do development we will do this we will do that but the, the government is working but not at that space that they will uh, develop and uh, okay convince the nuxalites that we are having this much development please come to the main uh, mainstream society 
so that we will give you the all rights and the all benefits which the uh, civilized uh, i am sorry that i am saying civilized they are also civilized in their manner but the uh, civil society which is having tie and coat and all, all that the all those things so uh, this was the problem of uh, nationalism but there are some uh, at that time there were some uh, netas some leaders those lead this nationalism now those uh, leaders because of the time and the time has a uh, uh, solution for everything so they lost their life in this nationalism this movement and uh, because of their old age so now they are now not with us but this problem is growing day by day very worse and why it is growing worse because in some places the government is not able to reach government is not uh, able to develop these places and they are not providing proper education and proper uh, sanitization any facility is not there available because these are living in a very far uh, jungles so whenever the government machinery is going to there and they want to convince the nexalites or uh, the this communities to come uh, with us and we will give you the, uh, uh, we we will provide you facilities we will provide you rights but now these nexalites or this uh, community thinks that this government is uh, no use for us because till the 75 years of uh, our independence they never provided us food never provided us any facility so why they are not coming with us so what government did now government is giving them facilities also and if someone is not get convinced with government orders or someone is go, uh, going with a armed uh, uh, rebellion so government is tackling with them with crpf uh, which is a central reserve police force and the maharashtra government is having uh, srpf which is state reserve police force and andhra pradesh is uh, having a grounds uh, police grounds police so this policing is working on two states like one is to provide them all facilities and make them to come in uh, civil civil society and the second is which one who is not uh, asking uh, which you, who is not uh, giving their uh, support to this uh, uh, this facility so they are uh, tackling with them on other hand that they are in counters and uh put them in jail so like this all these steps are uh, taken by governments and i want to thank this government that they are doing very good job and they are giving them facilities and also they are uh, working on their policing so this is a very uh, huge time that this is a very great time that the nationalism from huge area of our country is now getting eradicated and now this is only uh, the Chhattisgarh is only area where the nationalism is uh, now uh, very much in powerful, uh, very much in power. So, if the Chhattisgarh police, central police, and the other states which are uh, having border with Chhattisgarh, if they coordinate and if they tackle this problem uh, in a combined manner, then I think this nationalism will get uh, finished from our country, and our country will grow. and the every community every sector every area of our india will grow day by day and one day the india will be the world's largest economy and the finest economy so thank you all you listen me a lot if you want to listen uh, such videos or such podcast you can uh, come and uh, listen from my youtube channel thank you once again jai hind